Okay, then the second mod that we're going to install is the Oblivion Script Extender. Uh, you can find the link to that in the description of this video too. And once you've done that, uh, you just simply extract all because it's a zip file. And it will start extracting. Yeah, there we go. And, and then once it's done, you'll get the folder right here. And all you have to do is just find the, oh, actually you have to read, remember, you should always read the readmes. Every time you download something, read the whole thing. I know it's annoying to have to read everything, but do it, because otherwise you'll make mistakes. So, if I per, since I purchased the Steam version, I have to copy all of those DLL files. So I'm going to copy this, this, uh, I'll go ahead and copy this too, and all of this. And then I control C to copy it, and then I go into my Oblivion folder. Uh, and it says to install it right into um, this main uh, area right here, you know, the very top level where the other DLLs are. So wherever you find the like uh, math and uh, uh, being W32.dl, that's where you copy those. There, now we've installed the, uh, the Oblivion Script Extender. And then the third mod that we're going to install is the Oblivion Graphics Extender. And remember, this is the most important of them all. Uh, this is the Oblivion Graphics Extender version 3. And the link to that is in the description of this video. Okay, so once you, ex once you download it, it comes as a, a 7z file. So I just kind of do it a little bit differently than normal. I open it with a, with a 7-zip file manager, and then I do this. I, um, make a name of the folder myself and then I extract it. Um, like I said, um, I can't show you how to use the 7-zip file manager right now. It's outside the scope of this, but just look online and there's plenty of tutorials on how to manage 7-z files. Okay, so we've done that and we now have the Oblivion Graphics Extender Core uh, version 3. So here's the readme file. Remember, always read the readme file and go to installation and it shows you how to install it. Uh, I'm manually installing it. It says it's highly discouraged, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Uh, so I extract, extract the entire core into the Oblivion data directory. And this is the, the core, this whole thing right here. So I'm just copying and then I'm going to click Oblivion. And this is, um, it says to install it into the uh, data directory. So we go one level deep into the data directory and then paste everything. And then I'm going to do this for all current items. Yeah, there we go. And we've uh, roughly installed the Oblivion graphics extender, but now there's one extra step we have to do. We now need to download effects for the Oblivion graphics extender. It doesn't come with it um, with the original install. So I downloaded the OBGE standalone effects and the link to that is also in the description of this video and we're going to extract that uh, open with this and then I extract oh whoops I forgot to copy that okay and then I just do that and there it is and then here's the standalone effects um, here's what I do I take everything that's in the core oh by the way remember read this file read the whole thing I mean, it's a big file, but read it anyway, because this tells you about all the different effects. It tells you about the six different, five or six different ambient occlusion effects, lighting effects, all kinds of good stuff in here, see? And you might want to use some of these that I'm not using. I'm going to use only two, but I'm still going to copy all of them in any way. So first I go into the core folder, and then I copy all of these, and then actually let's, let's get a second window going to make it easier. And then... Um, you open the data folder and then you paste everything right into the data folder and it'll ask about overwriting some uh, folders and that's fine so we have that now there's also a god rays sun glare fix uh, I am going to be using god rays so I'm grabbing this too so I simply uh, copy this and then paste it over here right into the data folder there we go so now that we've downloaded and installed the Oblivion Graphics Extender, we have to configure it. And all of the, um, 
uh, effects are in the folder shaders. And remember, it's in the Oblivion folder, then data, and then shaders. So we go in here, and here's all of the different effects. Now, to activate one or two of them, um, you simply go into this shaderlist.txt, and you type in the names of the shaders that you're going to use. So I'm going to be using godrays.fx and volumetric. Whoops. <laughs> Make sure you spell it right. Volumetric SSAO.fx. There it is. And then save it, close it. Um, and the reason that we're doing this, there's actually two ways to manage um, Oblivion Graphics Extender. You can do it manually like this, which is how I did it, or you can do it in here by activating the Oblivion Graphics Extender support. Then you can actually turn things on right in the game, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it off, and it should be off because it's better to manually configure this yourself. There's also one step you must complete before you uh, open Oblivion and check out whether you got uh, the graphics extender to work. You must manually configure some of the settings of your uh, graphics card itself. And if you have an NVIDIA card, you just go into the NVIDIA control panel, which I've got right up on the screen, and then you have to go into manage 3D settings, and then you have to go into program settings, and you want to modify the settings just for Oblivion. You don't want to do global settings. You you don't want to mess up you know other programs or the rest of your computer and then find the program uh, in this huge drop-down list it's called Elder Scrolls for Oblivion and then here's the settings you should use um, assuming you've got a comparable card to what I have I have a GTX 570 super clocked so you, I turn ambient occlusion to on with quality setting. Um, so now we have uh, two different types of ambient occlusion. There's the, the graphics card is doing it and also uh, Oblivion graphics extender is doing its own. Uh, anisotropic filtering is set to 16. Anti-aliasing I have um, gamma correction on but it's not going to matter because you want to have application controlled anti-aliasing which is going to be off. Um, uh, use global setting for the CUDAs. Uh, maximum pre-rendered frames zero. Um, let's see what else is important. Yeah, set a negative LOD bias to clamp, set texture filtering to high quality, uh, threaded optimization to auto, triple buffering on, texture filtering off, and vertical sync, let the uh, application decide. Uh, those are the settings. If you don't have um, just the right settings, the god rays might not work and they might actually blow up. So you just have to kind of uh, mess around with these and tweak these until you get it to work right. And here we are in the game again. So we now have screen space ambient occlusion working both in the Oblivion graphics extender and in the um, NVIDIA drivers. Uh, and then in addition to that, we also have God rays working now. There they are. So, and the final part of uh, Oblivion Graphics Extender that I wanted to cover is the liquid water effect. That's a separate file. You have to download it and you can find the link in the description of the video. So after you uninstall it, we get this OBG E liquid water. Now open the folder and um, you need the shaders and the textures and the liquidwater.esp. And all we do is just find our data folder, uh, the Oblivion data folder, and then we're going to copy that right into the data folder and of course it always asks this and that's fine um, you also want to check out the readme because the liquid water has a readme too and <laughs> I don't know why it's going so slow again but uh, there we go and yeah so read the whole thing and especially how to install it uh, it shows you the uh, prerequisites you need and we've already got all the prerequisites um, there's uh, one thing you might want to uh, also check out here. Uh, in the any tweaks, um, it shows you um, what kind of tweaks you can make to your oblivion.ini file. And that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to take these and then we're going to go into our oblivion.ini file. And that's here. It's in my documents, my games, oblivion, and the oblivion ini. Um, so you go in there and all we have to do is find where that uh, that was. Uh, let's see. Let me just copy it for a second. This is not where it goes, but okay. Use water reflections. So we're just going to search for that actually. So use water reflections. 
and it takes us right there. There we go. So now we're going to take those four lines and replace it with ones. And whoops, there we go. Good. And then we save our I and I file. And now I, we're going to hop into the game and see what all of this looks like. And by the way, before we hop in, I forgot to show you what your Oblivion Mod Manager should look like now. Uh, the three main uh, ESP files should be at the top. The OBGE Liquid Water should be there, and you should have it checked. But do not check the Oblivion Graphics Extender. Do not check it, because we configured it manually. Okay, so here we are at the Imperial City Waterfront. Um, just to take a look at what the vanilla water looks like in Oblivion. So the vanilla water is kind of bland, actually. You know, it, it, there's some glare, but that's about it. You can see through the water, but it doesn't do much, um, and it doesn't um, reflect all that much either. So now we're going to switch to the Oblivion graphics extender with liquid water. And here we are with Oblivion graphics extender liquid water. Uh, first of all, you can see the water caustics. Those are those rays, those orangish rays that are reflecting on the ground, um, you know, like on underwater. Uh, you can see that there's refraction, so the uh, anything that's showing through the water is being refracted, uh, particularly at the bottom of the lake. Um, and you can also see how everything, including the trees, are now being reflected. Um, and eventually, once we install um, more building mods, even more will be reflected. And that's all for part two of my Oblivion Extreme Graphics tutorial. Uh, click subscribe and you'll get these in your inbox and look for the next tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching.